in the world of news. Keeping people updated is considered especially important. In Dover High School, the dedicated students who investigate these stories are members of an elite squad known as the Dover Daily. These are their stories. Good morning, Tigers. Wait, John, I think we're still dragons. Oh, wait, you're right. Good morning, dragons. Good news, everyone. Today is the last day that teachers post new assignments. After this, you will have until June 23rd to make up any old work. Please remember to do all the assignments. The buses, as usual, will leave the school at 10 a.m. this week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to get your lunch. Seniors, remember the date for the drive-in graduation is June 27th at 8 p.m., and you must have a parking pass. Also, seniors, if you haven't sent your commitment to the Dover HS 2020 Instagram page, please do so to be celebrated by your fellow classmates. Hi, just a reminder, PE logs are due today by 11.59 p.m. This is my last time being the ESDN host, so have a great summer. Bye. What's going on, Dover? This is our last official episode of the Dover Daily, so let's make it count. The high temperature for today will be 79 degrees, and the low for the day will be 52 degrees. Humidity will be at 46%, so it will feel toastier. It looks like we will see some possible precipitation with a 10% chance of accumulation. For the week, the temperatures will constantly shift between 60 and 90 degrees. We will mainly see some cloudy throughout the week as well. Before we end, I want to talk to you guys about something, and what I've learned through my high school career. One thing that I learned was, do not procrastinate. Waiting to the last minute for your assignments is not worth it. Some assignments that uh, your teachers give time for you to do, and then like two weeks, for example, and then you do it like the last two days, that's a lot of work to do on those two days. It's better to spread, to have the work spread out and just take your time and uh, actually, you know, spread the time of the assignment throughout the time that the teachers actually give you instead of waiting to the last second. Another thing is that, I don't know if you guys noticed, but ever since this whole quarantine thing, I felt that it's kind of ironic in a way that I've actually wanted to come back to school. My friends actually have woken up at like 9 o'clock and came back to the school for a jog around the track. I mean, why not, right? It's just kind of weird that this entire time we've been, oh, got to wake up early and then when you're all bedheaded and everything when you wake up in the morning and you're tired and like oh I don't want to go to school and now some of us just want to go back to school it's just it's just kind of weird how that works anyway I just want to leave uh, you guys with that one lasting thought and uh thank you for having me on the Dover Daily and I want to thank my sister as well for helping me record which is uh very helpful as well so thank you guys for watching the Dover Daily and have a triumphant Tuesday, Dover. Good morning, Dover. Seniors, if you took any DCC courses, be sure to request your transcript so that your credits are transferred to the college or university you plan on attending. When asked if you want your grades held for the end of the semester, be sure to select yes so that your grades are sent after the class is completed. If you're attending DCC, your credits will automatically be transferred over. Oh, and before I go, something I learned in high school is to get enough rest the night before so you don't fall asleep in class and miss out on your future. Um, oh, and so you don't get something like this. Now on to John with the weather. My advice to you is don't cheat. Yes, it is incredibly easy to cheat on homework assignments, and I can't say that I haven't done that a few times myself. However, when you cheat, the only person that you're actually fooling is yourself. Because homework assignments are made to help you prepare for upcoming tests and projects. However, when that test or project actually comes and you can't cheat, then you're only setting yourself up for failure. And I'm only speaking from experience. And a special Dover Daily happy birthday over the weekend to Nyasia Mingo, Joshua Montero, Jake Sillo, Jamie Swisher, Isabella Della Rosa, and for today, Kaylin Belmelcor. And on that note, and on that have note, a triumphant have a summer. Triumphant summer. Bye. See you later. Yeah, Scott here.